Where are we at with going forward with a uh, risk-limiting audit? Uh, so that will start um, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning at the uh, Walker County Civic Center. Um, there will be uh, an observation area for public and media, things of that nature. Um, there will be, um, I'm hoping to have six uh, audit board teams of two, um, uh, may only be four, but uh, hopefully up to six. Um, and we will begin that uh, risk limiting audit uh, tomorrow morning. So how many ballots are we talking about? in 29,514. So every single one will have every to be single one. Yes. Uh, now, just for the uh, presidential uh, race is all we're looking at. Now, Georgia changed the way or the process or the machinery mm -hmm. used for elections yes. as, as opposed to in the past. So now mm -hmm. uh, it's an electronic voting system that then prints out a basically a receipt. Or it it's not a receipt in that you don't get to keep it. Yeah. Um, um, you know, receipts, you would think that's something I get to take and okay. keep. Um, it, it prints out um, a physical ballot for you to review. Um, make sure the selections that you made on screen are the same that are, you know, printed. Um, and then that ballot goes into a scanner. Um, and that's how ballots are tabulated. And then those are the ballots that you all will be looking at. Yes, as well as um, the ones that um, were mailed out for absentee by mail. Okay. How many is that in Walker County? Um, the by mail? The by mail. Um, uh, almost 6,000. 28, uh, 58 something. Yeah, almost 6,000. How long are you anticipating it will take to recount all of these ballots? Well, we have until midnight on Wednesday, so by then. <laughs> Whatever that looks like. Um, we're prepared uh, to start at 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, we're going to work Saturday. Uh, we're not going to work Sunday, um, but Monday, Tuesday, and then um, hopefully we can get through it by then, but if not, Wednesday as well, by midnight. So logistically, who, who is going to be doing the recount? Is it just going to be election workers? So no. Workers? Well, my poll workers. I'm trying to enlist poll workers at this point. I've got um, quite a few on board already. Um, um, and then, of course, our, our staff will be involved. Um, the board will be involved. There will be um, vote review panels, which is uh, made up of um, one Republican, one Democrat, uh, hoping to have two vote review uh, tables <clears throat> where if there's an issue of deciding um, voter intent, um, those ballots go to the vote review panel. So after all of these ballots have been counted, mm -hmm. what happens next on, on our end? Um, we get ready for the runoff. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, as, as uh, my audit boards, these teams of two people that are, are doing the counting, um, and, and it's not, they're, the way it will look is um, each table of two will have um, um, Donald Trump, Biden, Jorgensen, right in, um, and, and so what, what they will do is, is they'll take the first ballot and the first person will look at it, see who that's for. They'll say it out loud. This person will say it loud and they'll put that in the stack. Um, and so then the, once they get through their um, container of ballots, um, then they'll count um, in stacks of 10. Um, and then those will go back into their container sealed and then we'll, we'll put them away. Um, and then they have a form to fill out with how many, you know, for this person, how many for this person. Um, and that goes with, with the uh, container. And then those numbers are put in and sent to the state. Um, um, and once we've finished our part of this risk limiting audit um, and, and finished the counting, um, we just wait on whatever word comes from the state. So I've had this asked from a few people, is, is this going to cost the county additional dollars in order to do this yes. recount? Yes, because I have to employ poll workers. Um, and of course, you know, my staff will be working on Saturday. Um, so that's an additional cost. Now, um, it was asked of the state, um, um, you know, is this cost fall on us? Um, and they said um, that initially, yes, but there could be some some money that will will come back to the counties they're not sure and we've never done this before no
No. Um, when the new equipment was purchased um, at you know at the end of last year, beginning of this year, um, and rolled out, um, part of the process um, to to purchasing the machines and, and, and all of the rules and regulations to purchasing the machines um, was to include a risk limiting audit. <clears throat> so it's it's part of the system going forward. Putting it in play, it was, it was yeah, and it may not it may not always look like this. Um, the originally we thought that the uh, audit might look a little different. Um, it we thought that um, we wouldn't count hand count every ballot. We thought we would just take like a cross section of certain um, batches, <clears throat> and that probably will be the case going forward. Um, we're just in an unusual circumstance with a point three percent difference in the presidential race. I guess the one good thing that, that has been announced this week, though, for you all, is that the uh, December 1st Public Service oh, Commission yes. election has been moved to January. Yes, yes, <laughs> that, uh, um, it was else. not, yeah, it was not looking good. <laughs> we we were drowning, or we felt like we were drowning, and it wasn't just up, it was statewide. Um, so um, I think enough of us uh, reached out uh, to the Secretary of State's office and to our legislators and said, hey, look, this is not going to work. Um, and um, they heard our voice and, and they combined that, which is uh, very, very helpful. Is there anything else you'd like to add or anything you'd like to, to convey to the public about yeah, this process? Yeah, sure. Um, it works. The system works. Um, I, I, I feel very confident in, in the system that we have um, and, and how it worked here in Walker County. Um, we will have a runoff in uh, January the 5th, and um, I know voter fatigue is a thing, um, but this is an important race, um, races, actually. So um, they, they need to come out and vote. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anne Montgomery, the election supervisor and chief registrar of yes. Walker County. Yes, thank you.